Ciao. Anyway. I don't love just anyone. I am not just anyone. I rock heels, I rock Jordans. And I wear wigs and rock my natural. Can you believe it says I'm pretty but with dark skin? Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. So guys, really quick disclaimer, I've been sick all week. It's not the vid. Trust me, it is not the vid. My test came back negative. I just have a little head cold and there's a lot going on. <laughs> so that's why I might sound a little nasally, a little tired. I am very tired. I had to force myself to film. I've been asleep all day. It's currently 7.29 and I just had to get myself together to film some videos for y'all because next week is my birthday and I have no videos for the rest of October or any of November so yeah so as you guys can see by the title of today's video I decided to do a story time kind of in honor of my birthday this is like a birthday story time it happened around my birthday as y'all can see this is like my sweet 16 horror story <laughs> basically you know what I'm not even going ramble we're just gonna get straight into the video this happened like I said my sweet 16 I'm currently turning 23 next week so what how many years 17 18 19 20, 20, 20. happened seven years ago so whoever is involved in this story I'm not gonna use real names but whoever is involved in this story do not feel away I no longer feel away about this like like I said it was when I was 16 years old um I no longer talk to some of the people in this story so it doesn't even matter um to me I just wanted some content for my channel and y'all love story time so here y'all go and also if y'all see me looking at my phone I wrote down notes because like I said this was seven years ago so my memory is a little shy I wanted to record this video sooner when I first started my channel back when I was like 16 17 but I was like nah it's too fresh but now I feel like it's a little I might not give y'all all the details but anyway let's hop right into the story so what can we name the this friend of mine let's name her we're gonna name her Kim so me and Kim had been childhood friends like we grew up together we used to live on this block where it was like buildings or whatever and she lived like a few buildings down so there was like a group of us we all grew up together some of us still stay in contact but some of us don't like we kind of like moved away we all just moved away from the area and you know drifted apart so during this time we had reconnected because some of y'all may know i used to be a girl scout so i was a girl scout and then two of her friends became girl scouts as well so two of her friends from her school so that's how we kind of reconnected because she was coming to girl scouts with them and it was like oh shoot hey friends so yeah so we kind of reconnected so during the time of us reconnecting i remember it was during the summertime so we would do like little sleepovers at my house um we would go there was like a frozen yogurt place the next town over called cups we would go there we would go to the mall we would go to starbucks like you know do little cutesy teenage stuff <laughs> you know catch the train and go about our business as far as my sweet 16 is concerned i have been planning my sweet 16 like i always knew i was having a sweet 16 i probably started playing my sweet 16 when i was like 14 15 like i knew the color scheme I, I was looking at the decorations with my mom i knew who i wanted to be in my court i knew who i was gonna invite like i had been planning it it might have not it might not have been planned to the t but i had been thinking about it you know the wheels have been turning we knew that i was having a sweet 16 we knew the gist of everything so of course you know i was bringing it up like because at this point it was probably like june or july or freaking august or something and my birthday is in october so you know a few months away like with planning a party it seems like stuff come real quick so i had brought up my party like oh yeah i'm having a sweet 16 you want to come yada 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 so she had like suggested like oh why don't we have a sweet 16 together so i'm like okay not a bad idea because i like my little brain back then was just thinking like okay you know instead of my mom and my parents you know footing the entire bill you know we we could split it like it, my half her half and you know instead of all the financial responsibility being falling on my parents you know i don't know i think like that i like to save money i'm a little frugal but also i was like okay you know this is my friend i'm thinking that you know we reconnected and you know we was gonna be friends for him from him on out so i'm thinking like oh yeah no problem like i had never had problems with this friend like when we were close growing up or anything so i was just like okay cool like we have we run in similar friend groups you know we know some of the same people perfect with that being said we brought it up to our moms they agreed 
and we just you know started to get the ball rolling so we started to look at venues so one of the venues that we looked at honestly i don't even remember if we like physically went to go look at a lot but i remember this one venue it was a club in hoboken hoboken new jersey and it's right there on washington street like as soon as you turn on washington street is that first block but it seemed perfect like it was really really cute like it seemed like we could have like the perfect little like teen event there the numbers everything they was talking about was great everything sounded amazing so i was like okay perfect we done found a venue i think our parents had put down a deposit and everything i'm not completely sure but like i i know that like we had had our hearts set on that venue like everybody knew that that was the venue and then it was time to look for dresses so i like i said i had been planning my sweet 16 for quite some time so i had been going to dress places and dress shops and stuff and just looking at dresses at the time my favorite color was purple i know cringy because <laughs> y'all know now my favorite color is pink like hands down pink but our sweet 16 colors are gonna we're gonna be purple and pink so i was gonna be purple she was gonna be pink so it was gonna be you know cute little color scheme so um you know i had been looking for dresses and stuff so um i didn't know that you could rent dresses for like events so we had went to this little dress shop i think it's either in the heights or like union city or somewhere and they we were like trying on dresses to rent but all the like i didn't go with any of the dresses they all look cheapy to me and it that, that's just a whole nother story for a whole nother day but yeah we had went to go look for dresses and stuff but i ended up finding my dress at this store in um jersey gardens and to this day i still have that dress i think it's in my mom's closet right now because it can't fit in my closet i had to kick it out of my closet because that dress was huge but it was so freaking cute um if i can find like screenshots and stuff and pictures and stuff i'll insert them but honestly i might not because i honestly i'm kind of lazy i don't feel like doing all of that but if i do y'all will see like all like the receipts and the tea and the pictures so uh, you know i ended up finding my cute little purple dress and we had to so she still didn't have a dress to my knowledge so we had to find a dress for our court so we had agreed that like typically for like a sweet 16 court you have 16 people so i had already had my court figured out i was gonna like for the party by myself i was gonna have eight people because i don't have a lot of friends i never really had a lot of friends so i was gonna do four boys four girls for my court perfect simple that's it for her um we agreed to have 16 people in total so i was gonna still do the four boys and the four, four girls and she was gonna do four boys and four girls so one of the red flags was that you know we agreed on four of my close you know eight of my closest people and then eight of your closest people so she had been like telling people that they could be a part of my court that I didn't even know and then she was like messaging me like oh would you mind if so-and-so was on your court like what like how you inviting all of these people to be in our court but they gonna be a part of like my half of the court like I don't even know these people and I already had my eight people set like I had my eight closest girlfriends and then my eight boy people because like most of them was like my cousins so i was just like huh like that don't even make sense like how are you inviting people to be on my court like telling them that they was in the party and that they was going to be a part of my court that they didn't even make no sense so that was a red flag right there and um like i said we it was time for us to go look for dresses for our girls so we started off looking for dresses um at the mall in my city and that was like a ish show because it's only like one dress store like forever 21 it's not really dress stores but um we went to jersey gardens to look because they had way more dress stores so another red flag was that most of the girls in our court were like around the same size like i'm a very petite girl i'm only 5'1 and i'm about 120 pounds and i wear like a size 2 maybe a size 4 on a good day i might wear a size 0 <laughs> and a dress so like most of our girls were around that age like from like zero to six that range of like dress sizes but one of her girls was like a size 12 or something or like a 14 like she was a size that we could not find in any of the dresses all the dresses that we found every single dress we could not find they had all these sizes and they stopped it right before her size so it was just like pretty frustrating because we were at the mall the entire day and I don't even think I think it would have been 
like multiple days of us looking for dresses and you know i'm not one to like body shame anybody like you know i have little insecurities with my body sometimes and i know like you know it probably was embarrassing for the girl that like you know every store we went to and every dress we found that you know the dress wasn't in her size but it was just annoying because it's like okay th that was the only thing holding us up was this one girl and i like i had said to my mom i was like if i was that girl i would have you know felt a little self-conscious and i would have been like you know what it's cool like you know i can just come to the party i don't have to be in the court because you know we can't find the dress for me but they just like insisted on finding a dress for this girl and come to find out we found the dresses for all the girls but she like all, i think all the girls had on white dresses so instead of finding this girl a white dress it didn't even have to be a white dress that matched it didn't even have to be a white dress that was remotely similar to all the other white dresses they found her a black dress all of the girls was wearing white why is this girl wearing black like that don't even make like that pissed me off so bad like it's, that was so taggy like even if all the girls had on the same white dress and then you had on a different white dress okay but not you have on a black and it was sparkly at that like come on now pissed me off that was red flag number two i don't even know how many red flags is in the story but i'm pretty sure it was a lot so let's see what's next so like i said it was supposed to be oh wait wait okay let's backtrack so remember i said we had found the venue tell me why like a week before we found the venue the people like i guess they wanted us to like you know come in and pay and do a walkthrough and stuff and they end up giving us a whole num completely different number than what they gave us before before they said we could bring in our own catered food and drinks and stuff like that because it was teenagers like th it was a this was an adult club so it's teenagers so of course we'll have to bring sodas and juices and waters and stuff so they didn't mention that they were going to charge us at the initial um like you know the initial viewing of the venue so a week before they it was like twelve hundred dollars more just to bring our own food and drinks so we had to shut that down and find another venue and the venue that um we ended up going with was like a typical sweet 16 venue here in my city that everybody had their sweet 16 at which you know was no problem at least we found it at least we was able to secure it cool it was bigger than what we intended because we didn't invite that many people but it just it was what it was like i it was in our budget it was what it was so the night before the party y'all remember how i said i was supposed to have eight people four girls and four boys and she was supposed to have eight people four girls and four boys <sighs> ciao anyway the night before we had rehearsal at my house because i live in like townhouses so there's like um a little parking lot um by my house so we were gonna rehearse do like the little dances and stuff you know do all the rehearsal the night before so my four girls and four boys pull up and her people pull up late but she only pulled up with four girls where the boys at where the boy yo she pulled she just pulled up with girls so i'm like so, okay so we agreed that the court would be 60 people why are there only 12 people here today and like y'all know first we 16 like a boy and a girl walk in together they are escorted in together so it was just gonna be my people escorted and then her girls walking singularly like i just i wasn't understanding and i didn't understand why i didn't know until the day of my party and not to say like oh my party my party but like i said i had been planning my sweet 16 for quite some time and i wanted it to be perfect and it wasn't like i was trying to take over everything like it was just annoying how like every time we discuss something or plan something or agreed on something she pulled some bs and popped up with something completely different it was just aggravating like we found the dress you pull up with a black sparkly dress for your girl or we agree on four girls and four boys and you only pull up with four girls like it was just it was just annoying like very much annoying very much stupid like at this point i was over it <laughs> But I was just thinking like, okay, you know what? I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have fun with my people at my party. I didn't care what was happening at her half of the party. My half of the party, it, I was going to have fun. So since she only pulled up with four girls, we decided that my four boys would escort. How do I even explain this? Like one of my girls would be on one of their arms and then one of their girls, one of her girls would be on the other arm. So basically it was three people walking down the aisle 
at a time which i still felt like was dumb because why didn't you have four boys you was trying to add all these other people she was trying to make all these other people come to my side of the court because she had so many people that wanted to be on her side of the court that when it came down to it you had no people to show for i was i was just absolutely confused and annoyed but anyway so the day of <laughs> the day of the party you know what hold on so the day of the party comes <laughs> and y'all remember back then when like the vixen sewing was popping y'all I, I had to get me a little vixen sewing because i was such a natural sewing mommy back then i still i still do low-key miss my leave out sewings but anyway so the day of comes and my mom braids up my hair because my aunt was gonna do my sewing so my mom braids the hair and my aunt comes to do to do my sewing and she's like hold on it's too much hair left out but when my hair is straight and you know it becomes straight you know straight hair is thinner than when your hair is blow dried or you know out curly and puffy so my mom was like i left out enough to cover the tracks so my aunt takes out my hair completely takes out all the braids and then redoes the braids so i was late so she had she redid my braids had to do the sewing you know fix me up all nice do my curls do my makeup do my mom's makeup so we were about two hours to two and a half hours late for the party yes i know i know it was people like calling like where are you like are we at the right party like you're still not here but i was just like I don't know. I like being fashionably late, but I feel like that was OD. Two two whole hours, like that was OD. But anyway, so yeah, I was late, and I'm pretty sure she was mad. But like, it wasn't like I wasn't thinking about that. I was just thinking like, oh, because I think my birthday was like the the next day or like two days later. So I was just thinking like, oh, I'm a princess. It's my birthday. We had got um a car rented. Like it was just lit. So we finally show up to the party and everybody's like goo goo gaga all over me like oh my gosh your hair is so pretty da, da, da. so we're about to go out and you know make our in entrance walk or whatever and my parents have bought me like this little masquerade mask i still have it i just don't know where it's at and i don't feel like looking for it but it's like the little masquerade like blinged out mask because they were going to take it off and then put on my tiara and my shoes like you know once i did my walk or whatever so her mom was like why do you get to wear a mask like just walked up to me like my mom had put the mask on me and we're ready to walk out and her mom's like why do you get to wear a mask and i'm like because my mom bought it for me like i'm confused as to what you want me to say like i wasn't trying to be disrespectful because i don't disrespect my elders but like because my mom bought it for me because she wanted me to wear it like girl if you don't get out my face like that's what i was thinking like anyway so you know she walks first because i think she's like a week or like six days older than me so she walked out first and then it's my time turn to walk out we each had picked like a walkout song and then we picked like a daddy daughter dance song so i picked out my walkout song i start walking out and i realized that this is not my walkout song this is my daddy daughter dance song so me being who i am <laughs> i was like at we gonna run this back run it back turbo so i made everybody walk back like mm -mm. this is not how it was supposed to be so we're doing it again we're doing it over so <laughs> you could tell like she was pissed I, I honestly did not care like this is my birthday so we everything is gonna be perfect so finally we come out to the, i know i think he got the song wrong again but come to find out i think her sister was like messing with or whatever with the dj because the whole time during the party like her sister was making the dj plates and sitting up there with him and kiki with him so i don't think they paid for that dj mind you my mom paid for everything else the decorations the food my family had cooked the food everything but anyway so they still even got my song and stuff wrong so fast forward did the daddy daughter dance um my court walked in and stuff now it's time to do my 16 candles so i did my 16 candles first because i was already you know up there so her people are being mad rude like mad rude to the right of me just talking and i had to address it more than once i was like excuse me quiet <laughs> or i was like excuse me i'm i'm speaking so i did my you know 16 candles or whatever and then it was time for me to sit down for her to do hers so we had like a court table in the back of like the the like room the but the ballroom i guess i don't even know what to call it like the venue room or whatever it was like this long court table that my mom had set up for you know the whole court to sit so only me and my court were sitting back there 
but because her people was being rude while i was talking we weren't being rude because we were all the way in the back i'm pretty sure nobody could hear us but like you know we was doing our own thing we was on snapchat we was having fun taking pictures like you know just not paying attention because you were being rude to me and now i'm gonna be rude to you so another i don't even think this is a red flag because at this point it was during the party so come to find out her people was, was stealing my presents now i don't want to say who exactly was stealing my presents because i don't know who exactly but we do have an idea of who was stealing my presents because like after the fact like so my some of my peoples had peaked that like her peoples were like you know lingering around the gift table and after the fact like you know people who had given me presents presents they were like oh you know how'd you like your present and I was like I never got nothing <laughs> from you and they were like well I put the presents on the present table so there were presents that came up missing so people were stealing um another thing is that um one of my uncles had actually caught her talking mess about me so like I said we kind of ran in similar circles so Two of my cousins, she was cool with them. Like, she had, like, my boy cousin and then him and my girl cousin, like, they're mad, mad close. So, they had came. So, I guess she felt comfortable talking to them. But she was like, I don't even mess with her. F her. She look ugly in that dress. Just, like, talking mad smack about me. And my uncle, like, he found out or whatever. Like, he heard or whatever. So, he addressed it to her mom and she got mad or whatever. So there's that. So the girl ain't even like me. But you wanted to have a sweet 16 with me. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be, you know what? Let me continue. So at the end of the night, you know, I, I had a bowl. Like I had a fun little time at my little party. My mom made sure that it was like the time of my life. Like it, like my dream literally came true for the most part. For my half of the party, it came true. That other half of the party, I, I don't know. That don't have nothing to do with me but my party it came true for me so at the end of the night um my dad had took us to new york me and my court or whatever so we had really 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 good fun <laughs> in times square and then um everybody came back the boys went home and stuff but the girls we ended up having to sleep over here the next morning i wake up i really wish i still had the message and like i said i should i felt like i should have did this um story time way sooner because i i was keeping the message like i kept getting new iphones but backing up my iphone so that i had that specific message in my phone so i could show it as receipts for the video but like once i got older and like i really didn't care about backing up my information no more that message is long gone like i don't even have the last iphone that that message was on anymore i think i had gave it to jordan and then he ended up breaking that phone at some point so i don't even know i tried to look at my icloud that message is long gone and i can't even i could sum up some of what it what was in the message but basically when i woke up i got a long nasty message from her and i was like thoroughly confused because like i said like at this point even though i was annoyed with her and like annoyed with like everything that was going on with the party and stuff i still felt like you know we was cool i didn't think it was no bad blood like none of that but she on the other hand she was hot so some of the things in the message were that um i looked ugly in my dress <laughs> and my dress was ugly mind you um my dress was so freaking cute her dress was actually ugly it wasn't even the shade of pink that everything else was it was like a reddish pink it was so ugly it was too big for her it did not fit it was one of them rented dresses that we had went to the little rented dress shop to get yeah it was a hot mess it, it didn't even fit her it was falling off her body then she was trying to say that um i was talking smack about her best friend that was there i didn't even know her best friend was there because like i said when we when after i finished doing my 16 candles i went up with my friends and i wasn't even paying attention to what was going on i didn't even know her best friend was there like i really wasn't paying that half of the party i wasn't paying nobody no mind so she was like oh my best friend looked better than you when she just had a baby and this that and the third. it was just like all of this nonsense like okay but you talk mess about your best friend with your new friends so we not even gonna get into that um she was trying to say that like oh my my dad wasn't at the party and this that and the third my dad was front and center at the party it was just like a whole lot of stuff a whole lot of stuff and she was like every time i see you in the street i'ma beat you up and y'all y'all i really wish i had that message but so me and my mom we end up calling her mom 
and she the girl had her mother lying for her like oh yeah she showed me messages from jada from the day before mind you i didn't text that girl like i get really i get overwhelmed very easily i have really bad anxiety so when i have events and stuff i don't respond to people's messages or if i feel overwhelmed like on a daily basis i don't respond to people's messages and my mom had my phone the entire day because she knows how i get like i gave her my phone because i didn't want to answer nobody calls like like you know like the day of, of an event it seemed like everybody called everybody's blowing up your phone everybody's trying to figure out what's going on so i gave my mom my phone here you go so my mom was like how did jada send her a message when i had her phone the, the entire time it was just like lies after lies after lies like you really got your mother lying for you really but i, I hope i got everything like i hope i summed up everything or like hit all the points i was supposed to hit hopefully when i'm editing this video i don't think of like other things that went wrong during that story but it is what it is long story short me and a girl are no longer friends um i saw her like a few years after the fact i was already in college at this point but like how she was like every time i see you i'm gonna beat you up i saw her at the fair she seen me guess who and get beat up <laughs> and then um she was working at the mall in my city at one point and um if you're from here you know that like at that mall you have to validate your ticket to get a discount on parking so the girl validated my ticket and i went about my day because what what you gonna do what you gonna do but <laughs> nah but um like i said it's no bad blood um it just is what it is like people who act like that people who are secretly jealous of you but like use you for the benefit that you have for them it's just like really really bad karma does definitely come back to bite people in the booty so just be careful on like who you wish bad on or who you try to do wrong because i never wish bad on anybody god is always watching like i said karma will come back to bite you in the booty but that is the story time on how my sweet 16 got ruined it didn't really get ruined like i said like while i was at my party i was having the time of my life like my party was amazing my party my heaven party was amazing but um yeah that's the story i will never ever 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 do a joint party with anyone ever again in life because no <laughs> like if i'm gonna do a party i'm going to be the center of the t of attention i'm going to be the spotlight like why would i share my spotlight with somebody else but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see y'all in the next video bye loves Thank you.